Ariel Helwani at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City, alongside the UFC light heavyweight champion Johnny Bones Jones, who of course faces Chael Sonnen this Saturday at UFC 159. And John, it's good to see you and the beard. Are we keeping it for Saturday, by the way? Uh, I can't tell you about Saturday, but it'll be at the weigh-in for sure. Well, that's uh, we're not paying fifty dollars for the weigh-ins. We're paying for the fight. This is true. This is true. I'm, I haven't quite decided yet. Okay. A lot of my coworkers don't like it. They say, John, you have a, a nice structured face. You're a fairly look, good-looking guy. You should show that. It'll be good for you. And I'm just like, I'm not trying to look good right now. Yeah. You're in beast mode. Don't listen to them. To okay. Ariel Hawani. Yes. Now let me ask you. This I'm fight to was. Know what Ariel Hawani knows. Hawani knows. What do you do now? How can you copy my shirt? Yo, hang on. I, I, I kind of don't like that you have a Hawaii No shirt, to be honest with you. Why? Do you have an issue? You're still in my shine. No, I'm not. Yeah, kind of. I'm giving props. You know with a K, I know with an N. Yeah, but guys, buy Bones No shirts, please. Mine goes to charity. What does yours go to? Okay, buy Hawaii No shirts. I'm sorry. This fight was announced in September. How sick are you of talking about the charity? Really? It does the Colorectal Cancer Association of Canada. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. All the proceeds. That's really cool. That's really cool. Don't right. you feel Everyone, bad now? <laughs> I do feel bad. Everyone should have a Hawaii No shirt. Uh, this fight was announced in September, right? How tired of you of thinking and talking about this guy and looking at this guy? And I'm wondering which fight are you more anxious to get over, this one or the Rashad one, which was also kind of drawn out? Ah, uh, the Rashad one, definitely. The Rashad one because the emotion there was serious. It, it was like. It was really serious. There was real passion involved. There was real ego in there. There was really uh, there was some serious bragging rights on the line. You know, it was like uh, it was like if Rashad would have won, everything that he ever said about me would have been legitimized. You know, he would I would have been his like his his girl almost. You know what I mean? He would have just I would have like I, I don't know. It would have been the wor the worst guy to lose to ever. He said a lot about you too. Yeah, but he's crazy. You know, Chell's crazy, so it doesn't count. It's like you know, like. A, Chell, Chell's a gentleman. Uh, he's this promoter, this ruthless, disrespectful, say anything about any one promoter, which is, I'm not really sure if I agree with that. Um, and then he is a, uh, he's a tactical fighter. And I take the gentleman seriously when we're talking, you know, I, I can look him in the eyes like on the show. You know, he was being Chell the gentleman. So, uh, and then I take the fighter very seriously. When I see veins popping out of his neck, I'm like, oh, he's getting warmed up. Let me just turn this off, turn the channel. So I don't, I don't take the crazy statement maker Chell serious. Does he have any shot in hell against you? Do you give him even a, a .01% chance? Chell, Chell is a great fighter, man. He's a great fighter. You know, people, you know, people are just disregarding him completely, and I'm not. My camp is not. You know, we've seen what he did to Anderson. We see what he did to Brian Stan. Uh, I saw what he did to Nate Marquardt. I, um, you know, he, he's legit. He's legit. You know, he, he doesn't always come out on top. But he always brings a fight, you know, and uh, I've never fought in a guy who's southpaw, um, who actually shoots from the southpaw stance and things like that. So style makes matchups, and I'm taking this very seriously. I believe that this could be uh, the fight of my life, to be honest with you, or I could just dominate him and eat him alive. Um, one of those are true, and we'll find out which one is going to be true. I'm ready for both of them, but I do see victory in the end of both tunnels. You were criticized a couple of weeks ago for your interview on the Tough Finale broadcast where people thought you weren't promoting the fight enough. Uh, not to interject, I thought it was one of your best interviews because it showed real passion, real emotion. You did not want to be standing next to that guy. Right. Do you understand why some criticized you and can you explain why you acted right. that way on the broadcast? Right. It wasn't an act, you know. Uh, people will tell me that they want me to be real and, uh, and I've become real. And so if I'm feeling goofy, I'm going to be goofy. If I'm feeling... Uh, in the serious mode, I want to be serious. If I'm irritated, you're going to probably, it's going to come off on the camera. And, uh, you know, I hadn't seen Chell in a long time. I saw that he had gained some muscle since I seen him last. I know I've gained a lot of muscle since he's seen me last. And I was just feeling really competitive at the moment. And I was just, I was being real. I, I wasn't in a playing mood. Speaking of the muscles, you insinuated that you thought in the past he has taken steroids and then you took it back. Do you feel like right now you're going into this fight with an unfair disadvantage because he may be doing that stuff? Do you believe that right now? I, well, I have a strong stance against steroids. You know, I think that when you are in your prime and you've made a lot of money and you've beat a lot of people up, um, what, you, what you give uh, your age is what, what is, it's the, it's the neutralizer. You, know, you get older and you get defeated eventually. Um, you know, Chell has developed a, 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 a lot of knowledge for fighting so many fights. And what he should sacrifice as a gain of all that knowledge is slower. You become slower as you get older. You, you, um, it's just a little harder to train as you get older. Um, you know, you, you're, you're, you're knowledgeable, but you don't have that, that 
that kick that you used to have, and that's when the knowledge should kick in. But when you have the knowledge of a of a, of a 12 year veteran and you have a body of a 28 year old, it's just not fair. It's not fair at all. I'm developing a lot of knowledge as at 25 years old, and if I start taking TRT when I'm 30, and I'm still as smart as I am right now, I'm not way smarter. I'm going to be really hard to beat when I'm 30, so it's not fair. You know, some kid out there is working his butt off to beat me one day, and I'm aware of that. It's, it may happen one day. The kid's probably 19 years old, training at some gym with my picture on the wall, and he's working his tail off. His reward is to beat me one day and become the champion. I pass the torch. But if I'm on TRT, and I'm just as strong as I am right now, but I have five more years of experience under my belt, it's just not right. It's not right. If you're on TRT, it's time for you to go and become a dad and, and, and do something else. Get into real estate, do what you got to do. But it's not fair to do it as if you're a fighter. And I, I feel very strongly about that. And you're at home, you're probably thinking, he's right. He's absolutely right. But who's going to stand up and say something about it? I'm going to stand up and say something about it. I'll be the voice for it. I think it's wrong. John, we appreciate the time. Good luck on Saturday. All right. All right. Thank you, brother.